Oh yeah, I'm bleeding like a mother. Like a mother. Like a mother. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Hot Mike. I'm your host Mike, and today we are doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, I'm going to be finding out a piece of information about myself that I have not known ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. This is the first time in 25 years I will know this piece of information. And uh, that is, of course, my blood type. I'm a little bit embarrassed, actually, to say that as a healthcare professional, I've never known my blood type. Patients will ask you before I bring them down to the operating room. They're like, do you know my blood type? Does it say in my chart? And I'm like, well, let me go and see. And then I'm always embarrassed. I'm like, oh, I don't even know my own blood type. So today, we're going to figure out what my blood type is. So when we talk about blood types, we are talking about the ABO group which is, it's all in the name, really. <laughs> you can either be A, B, AB, or O. And then there's an extra group called D, uh, also RH factor, exact same thing. It can either be positive or negative, and that is applied to any of those four groups. So you can have A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, and so on. Uh, the way that we know what a blood type is, is blood cells will have specific markers on the outside of them. So group A will have, it's called an antigen, an A antigen on it. Group B has a B antigen, group AB has both A and B antigens, and group O is special because it doesn't have any markers on the outside of it. Antibodies, from what you may have heard or from what you've learned, are basically used to attach to cells, cells that could do you harm, uh, especially bacteria and that sort of stuff. But you also have antibodies to different types of blood. And there's certain exceptions here, obviously. So if you have group A blood type, you have antibodies to B blood type. And if you have group B, you have antibodies to group A. But if you're type AB, you have antigens for both A and B, hence the name group AB. And if you're group AB, you don't have antibodies to A or B. Now the opposite of that would be type O. And there's a reason type O is called the universal donor because type O has no antigens on the outside of it, but it has in its plasma antibodies to both A and B. So now the reason it is called the universal donor is because type O blood has no antigens on it. So you can put type O into someone with type A. It has no B antigens on it, so type A will not react with it. Same goes for B, same goes for AB. AB is the universal recipient because it has no antibody, so you can put any blood in there and it won't matter. So it makes O negative so important is that, for example, in my own line of work, you see someone come into the operating room, it's late night, they were in a car accident, no one else in the car or the other person in the car has been gravely injured as well. They're unconscious. They can't identify themselves. You don't know who they are. You don't have a file. You don't have a chart. You might have done a type and screen, it's called, where you send off blood to go and get tested for the ABO group, as well as some other antigens, because there's so many other antigens that you could test for, so many other antibodies that people's blood have. But the, the main groups there, you can't actually figure out what the person has yet. So you would just give them O negative because you have no antigens on the outside of that. There's no A antigens, B or RH, no D antigens. And you can keep on giving them that indefinitely as long as your store is last of, of O negative, which we've, we've been in that situation before. You hear it all the time on the radio. It's like, hey, we're calling you to give, especially if you have O negative, because O negative is so useful in a trauma scenario. So we've talked about how useful, how rare type O negative blood is, but it is not the rarest blood type, uh, as we will find out here. Type AB is actually the most rare. 0.6% of people in the US have type AB negative blood. Seriously? Serious? Oh my gosh. The first time I learned that, I was like blown away. I was like, really? Because you hear all this about how rare type O negative is and how much you need it. And yes, you need it a lot, a lot. And the, the quantity in which you need it, it is very rare, right? But AB negative is the rarest. On the opposite end, though, this is crazy. O positive is 37.4% of the population. A positive is 35.7% of the population. So two thirds of people are A positive and O positive. The rest, B positive, O negative, A negative, AB positive, B negative, and AB negative, 
make up less than a third of the population. So statistically, I'm probably, I'm likely to have either A positive or O positive blood. But <laughs> we're gonna try and we're gonna, we got the, the quantitative, now we're gonna go for the qualitative here, which is <laughs> the, the pseudoscientific belief from Japan and South Korea that your ABO type is predictive of your personality. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna look at some of the descriptions here. We're gonna try and figure out my 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 blood type based on my personality. I don't know here. We're gonna, <laughs> and it has said here that this is this is a a horrible practice. It's a superstition. It it sets the the tone for discriminating against people based on blood type but <laughs> we're gonna if, if if this gets on the internet obviously and people see my blood type and i'm discriminated on based on my blood type later on it's my own fault but <laughs> uh, essentially it says here uh type a best traits warmest reserved sensible patient responsible perfectionist wise and cautious pretty wise uh the worst traits fastidious over earnest, obsessive, stubborn, the least temperate, inconsiderate, jealous, cold, angry. I'm not. I'm not very short-tempered. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty calm, and uh, that's not really talking to me there. That's not. That's not speaking to me. Uh, type B: passionate, active, creative, animal-loving, flexible, cheerful, friendly, and optimistic. Vocalizing personality. Wow. Hey, we're, we're getting there. Worst traits, irresponsible, forgetful, selfish, lazy, impatient, unreliable, and going own way. Unreliable? Really? Really? Okay, uh, type AB, creative, calm, rational, sociable, intelligent, and adaptable. Worst traits, critical, indecisive, unforgiving, aloof, and not trustable. Well. The, the creative calm, rational, sort of speaks to me. Uh, the indecisive also speaks to me. And uh, the not trustable, though, I don't know. I'm, I, I'd say I'm pretty trustable. I'm trustworthy. And type O here is uh, best traits, confident, self-determined, ambitious, strong-willed, intuitive, agreeable, competitive, and athletic. The worst traits, unpredictable, spiteful, self-centered, cold, aggressive, arrogant, envious, and ruthless. I've delayed long enough here. I will show you what's in the kit. Uh, first of all, we have obviously our, our fancy card here that we'll put stuff onto. We have these sticks that we'll use to mix our blood into the card. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you too much blood. Uh, we've got this thing to clean our hands. It says the sterile uh, alcohol swab there. Probably not that sterile. Uh, <laughs> this this pipette here, this micro pipette. Oh yes, yes. That is for apparently we have to mix up the the antibodies beforehand here. And we've got obviously they gave me two because I think I'm going to screw it up. Uh, <laughs> these two these two lancets. This is going to prick my finger. <laughs> I remember I remember when I was in nursing school and we had to take our blood sugars. Oh my god, I was terrified. Uh everyone everyone stood there and we were just like holding our our fingers up against the thing it was like like oh my god. And I I did it first and I screamed and everyone was like, "Oh!" It was mass hysteria. But <laughs> no mass hysteria here. Uh I'm going to make you watch me prick my finger, but I'm not going to make you watch me mix my blood onto this onto this uh, form here, or onto this paper. So I think I know how to do this. <laughs> Please, I'm a man, I don't need instructions. Uh, so essentially here, I'll get it in nice and close so that you can see. You've got anti-A, anti-B, anti-D, and the control. So basically, I will mix this, this water here with uh, all the different types on the different antibodies on here. The control is just in case if my blood agglutinates with the control, we know something went wrong with the test and it's, it's not valid. Allegedly, that's what the instructions tell me here. But uh, the anti-A should tip me off. If it, if it starts to agglutinate and create these little gelatinous masses, I have A-type blood. If anti-B goes off, I have B-type. If anti-D goes off, I have D. I have the, the RH positive. Gotta, gotta pull this shit off. I don't want to prick my finger right away here. How the heck do I get this out? Oh shit. 
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here it comes. <laughs> oh my god. I might actually die. I'm, I'm hanging my hand a little bit low here, trying to get the, the blood to flow to my fingertips. I think the, the time is nigh. We're gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I have to get someone to come in and do this for me. Okay, ready, 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 ready. Three, two, one. Ow. Okay, okay, we are, we are trying to get some bleeding going here. Trying to get the blood flowing. Oh, there we go. There's some, some good blood. There's some good blood. Keep flowing, blood. Keep flowing. Oh, yeah, I'm bleeding like a mother. Like a mother. Like a mother. I'm now mixing my blood with the uh, with the test here 10 seconds for each one it is said mixy 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 Ow, that hurt like ass it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be but it was pretty bad <laughs> oh my god that was worse than worse than in school and I had to ow I'm still bleeding okay so we are back I, I chose to do a time lapse because otherwise you'd be sitting here watching me try and read this card and wait for this to dry out. It is still not dry. I'm going to throw up an image on the screen of the, the card as it is. As you can see, the control test, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no agglutination or anything. So we know that the, the, the test was, was valid here. No agglutination or anything. Auntie D, if you look at this, I had a, a crazy reaction, or at least my blood had a crazy reaction to the, the D antibody. So that means that I'm RH positive. Uh, if we keep on going down the line, Auntie B has a little bit of agglutination. I'm thinking it's probably because I put too much water in the test and I'm absolutely not pricking my finger again. The the A, uh, anti, anti A section on here is completely normal it's like the like the control test except maybe a little better because i probably didn't put enough water on the control i i definitely put a lot of water on the a and the b but uh as you can see there this blood test if i'm reading it correctly has told me that i have the blood type b positive which if we're looking at b if we go we look back at our our first we'll we'll look at our our japanese south korean uh personality blood typing here uh please don't please don't uh discriminate against b positives uh of which i am now <laughs> which i'm now a member of this group uh best traits passionate active creative animal loving flexible cheerful friendly and optimistic vocalizing personality you know i should have known that right away uh the animal loving obviously i love my roomba like like it was a son to me uh <laughs> passionate yeah i'm pretty passionate you know uh the the worst traits however uh maybe i need to maybe i need to work on some of these things is one of these denial uh <laughs> irresponsible forgetful selfish lazy impatient unreliable and going own way <laughs> that's that's horrible that's really horrible. I'm be positive. I'm positive. Let's go. <laughs> okay. And then obviously B be, be positive is the uh, the third most plentiful blood group. It's rare, but it's not the rarest, obviously. But I'm also not the most plentiful. I'm not A positive. I'm not O positive. I'm B positive. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually really cool. Okay. I, I'm super happy that I only had to stick myself with this damn thing once. That was just horrible. I do not like that. Let's have a replay of that. Ow! <laughs> it still hurts. But uh, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Hot Mike. Thank you for sticking with the channel. If you made it this far, please leave a like for me sticking myself on YouTube. Obviously, I tried to keep the, the gory details away from me there. You can't really see. Oh, well, you can. Uh, uh, look at that. You can kind of see it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I will ever heal, but <laughs> I, I might physically heal, but mentally having to do that to myself was horrible. Uh, leave a like for that. Remember to comment uh, if you know your own blood type, or if you don't know it yet, if uh, you maybe have an idea based on some of the the statistics. Check the statistics. The statistics, or the uh, obviously the personality type theory there. Uh, 
let me know. Throw that down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Honestly, I feel like I've put myself through pain. I've now bled for this channel. <laughs> Please give it a subscribe. I appreciate all of you coming out to watch this video today. Have a great rest of your day. I've been Hot Mike, and I will see you in the next episode. We're gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I have to get someone to come in and do this for me. <laughs> oh, okay. There we are, there we are, okay. Oh shit, I just realized. We have to break up, there's these sticks here that I'm supposed to use to mix my blood. I need to break these up first. Oh my god. I'm just trying to delay now. I just, I should just get it over with, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 It's okay. <laughs> How does this thing work? What am I supposed to do? How do I puncture my own finger? <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, that sounds horrible, that sounds terrifying. Uh, uh. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Holy shit. Uh, uh, this is the worst part. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, I can't. I cannot, I cannot. Oh my god. I don't want to prick my finger! <laughs> but I need to bleed. I need to bleed. Otherwise I'm not going to find out my blood type. And this test is probably already wrecked.